there are two ways to look at the modern state of Israel. And I believe these two perspectives are vital to the way a Christian views this tiny country in the Middle East. So first, let me say there are political reasons. For those of us who live in the United States, we benefit from the freedoms that come from being citizens of our country. Freedoms of speech and religion provide us the liberty to live out our faith. You know, Israel provides its citizens with the same personal freedoms. In Israel, the Jewish people, Christians, and Muslims all worship without any fear or threat that they are breaking the law. Israel values the lives of their citizens. Their Declaration of Independence supports this, and it's rooted from the scriptures in Genesis 1.26, where God made all mankind in his own image. This is so important because Israel is the only democracy in the entire Middle East. The second way is biblically. The Bible is full of passages that clearly support an ancient Israel and a future Israel. And I believe that there has always been a continuity in the scriptures from beginning to end when it comes to Israel and the Jewish people. Just listen to what the prophet Jeremiah says in Jeremiah 31, 35 through 36. Thus says the Lord, who gives the sun for light by day and the fixed order of the moon and the stars for light by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If this fixed order departs from before me, declares the Lord, then shall the offspring of Israel cease from being a nation before me forever. Listen to what the Lord says. He connects his creation with his people and his land. And my friends, there is nothing more constant than God's creation. The Lord says that as long as the sun shines in the day and the stars and the moon shine by night, and as long as the tides come in and out, God has his hand on the Jewish people and the Lord is watching over the nation of Israel. So what should a Christian think about the modern state of Israel, the Israel of today? I think a Christian should marvel and be amazed that our God remains faithful to his promises to Israel. Because let me tell you, if God has kept his promises to Israel, we can be confident that he will keep his promises to us. I'm Chris Katolka.